just wanted to leave. Um, but I, I still pray, like, God, like, I don't really want this, but I'm just trying to get out of here, so please, like, make sure that I'm making the right decision. And I remember it got so bad to a point where I started, I was just crying, like, going to work. Um, just, like, I, I, I would just be in tears, like, on my way to work, because I, I would wake up, like, it was just bad, because um, I, I just was so depressed, to a point where I actually had to go to therapy, too, for the first time in my life. Um, that was hard too because like that job literally drove me to go seek counseling that's how bad I was doing um, and there's no shame in going to therapy I think it's really important for those who might be um, on the fence about it you know I think it's really important to to go and do that um, and, and to seek professional help if you need it um, but um, I remember it was June now and uh, all of a sudden I got like a, an email from my supervisor from the job at the university that I used to attend and she said that she um, was leaving that job and they were wondering if I wanted the job and I was like yeah of course like <laughs> um, of course I want the job like that's I've worked in that office before you know I'm familiar with the people they know me they know I do a good job and so why wouldn't I not want to go there and um, I let me back up for a second. So the prayer that I was praying while I was fasting was that God would send me to a job that was, you know, uh, that I could help people, that I could um, be surrounded by a positive environment, that I could go to grad school. Um, so those are like the specific prayer points of my prayer. And um, at the time when I had prayed like six months ago, when I had started praying and fasting, I thought God wasn't listening. I thought he was kind of just blowing me off and like, I was like, I can't, I'm not hearing you, God, like, what's going on? And I recognized that that job was the job that I was waiting on six months later, but that job that I specifically prayed for could not have been opened until the supervisor uh, from my university job left her position, then it could be open to me. So it was the specific details of my prayer that actually delayed or that created a specific timestamp for when my breakthrough would happen. Um, so I realized that it, it wasn't necessarily that God didn't, uh, God heard me, but it was just that uh, for the specific points of my prayer to uh, to happen, it had, it had just something else had to happen in other areas uh, for things to align for me to kind of step into my next thing. Um, and so I said sure like they they gave me they were basically going to give me the job like but I had to go through you know like a informal interview and uh, I remember that day of my interview um, I had left my <laughs> my current job I kind of snuck out the back <laughs> uh, maybe like 10 minutes early just so I could um, go to go to that interview and li literally within minutes of sitting down at the interview they gave me the job um, and I remember the next day I put in my my one week notice I didn't even give two weeks because I was like I'm, I'm not staying here <laughs> anymore <laughs> and whatever I mean I, I I think uh maybe that's me but I I didn't really care anymore um obviously they were upset with me that I gave one week's notice but you know I I did everything that I could at that job and uh the, the crazy thing is uh the the, my last day at that job I didn't get any like card or like no one gave me anything not that I like I'm really expecting anything but usually like when you know when you leave a job they have something for you they give something for you no one said or did anything for me which also speaks to um, to that place as well um, the type of culture and, and you know you know uh, people that they were but um, I, I always ask God, like, you know, why did you allow me to go through that? You know, why did you uh, make me uh, go through that horrible job experience? Um, and because this, this new job that I was going into now, I was going to be a supervisor. And so I was going to be in a leadership and a managerial role. And, um, and I remember he was telling me, you know, it's because you need to know what it's like to be um, a healthy supervisor to people. So now you've seen what it's like to be on the receiving end of a really poor supervisor. And I, I remember saying, like, God, but, you know, like, 
I don't, <laughs> I don't mistreat people like intentionally. Like, why? I mean, you know, I wouldn't do that to anybody. And he was like, yeah, but you also need to understand the anxiety that people feel about supervision, um, about you know having a supervisor over them. And do you see how you felt so un uneasy and you know so um, unsettled when you had uh, someone of authority over you who was not for your good? Um, and a lot of people feel that way at work all the time, you know. And uh, now you know how people feel, so you'll be even more in tune to know how to treat and know how to talk to people. Um, and I was like, okay. Um, now I know exactly what people go through in toxic jobs. Because even like the people that I, that I would hire over those next few years, they were coming from toxic jobs, right? And so um, it was important for me to show them, you know, a healthy supervisor, a healthy manager. And, you know, just because you have authority over someone doesn't mean you have to mistreat them, right? And unfortunately, I think that happens at many jobs these days. Um, and so... I just wanted to make sure that I was an example to people that I, you know, I was doing good um, in that way. Um, so that's pretty much the story <laughs> um, of my first job out of college um, and how kind of, you know, a toxic job environment helped me cultivate a fasting lifestyle. Um, and till this day, I still fast regularly for the past five to six years, and it's been wonderful. It's been um, eye-opening. It's been groundbreaking in my life with God and um, I really encourage anyone who wants to get closer to God to make sure that you incorporate fasting in your life um, and you know if you like this video hopefully you'll follow um, I'll try to you know post more videos as I feel led to but um, I hope this was encouraging to you um, and just know that if you're in a toxic job if you're in a toxic environment um, just know that it's not forever and to ask God, like, what do you want me to learn from, from this process? How are you pruning me? How are you developing, developing me? How are you changing me for the better? Um, because whoever you become is important for the next level and next group of people that you're going to um, come in contact with and connect with. So um, that's all I have. And I hope you guys enjoyed this.